Hello everyone. This is Himaja. Today we are going to learn about the basic unit of life and that is a cell. So let's get started. As you all love reading a story book. A story is formed using some sentences. The sentences is framed by some words together. What is a word made up of? A word is made up of a letter. If you ever notice everything around us is made up of one or more smaller entities and these smaller entities we called it as a basic unit. So for a story the basic unit is a letter of an alphabet. Analogously, did you ever notice that our body is made up of a basic unit? Yes, it is. Although it appears to be as one single body, it is made up of number of basic units coming together. All of life as we know from us to a tree, from an elephant to an ant, everything is made up of a basic unit. So all the living organisms in this universe is made up of a basic unit and has a starting point. And that is a cell. So you can define a cell as the basic unit of life. Just as a building made up of brick, our body too is made up of the number of cells. So you can also define a cell as the building blocks of our body. Group of cells together form a tissue. Group of tissues together form an organ. There are many organs in our body. Some are external and some are internal. Each and every organ perform its own function. Group of organs together form an organ system. Mainly there are eight organ systems in our body. They are the skeletal system, the muscular system, the respiratory system, the nervous system, the circulatory system, the reproductive system, the digestive system and excretory system. All these organ systems together they form an organism. And each and every organ system has a different function. Like the digestive system. The organs present in this system are mouth, the food pipe which we call as an esophagus, stomach, large intestine, small intestine, anus. All these organs in this digestive system perform one function that is the digestion of food that we have. Comparably, skeletal system gives shape and support to our body. The muscular system, the muscles in this helps in the body movement. The nervous system, the brain in this system help us to think, reason and act accordingly. The circulatory system, the heart helps to pump the blood to all the parts of our body. The respiratory system, the nose in this helps to inhale the air which contains oxygen and 
oxidizes the food that we eat and it also helps to purify the blood in the lungs the reproductive system this system reproduce the babies and this is the system which helps the life to go on the excretory system excretes the waste materials present in our body so all these organ systems together they form an organisms a living organisms so what is the starting point of a living organism it is a cell each and every cell has its own structure and function as we discussed now so you can also define cell as the fundamental structural functional unit of all living things similarly in plants every plant has many parts the leaf the flower the stem the root all these parts were made up of number of cells and they perform different functions the leaf produce the food through a process called photosynthesis the root absorbs the minerals and water from the soil the stem conducts the food and water to all parts of the plant cells has its own life weak and old cells die continuously in our body and are replaced by a new cell all living organisms including our cells is made up of a single cell which we called it as a zygote cells are so small that it cannot be seen through our naked eye hence it is microscopic it was therefore without an invention of a microscope the cells could not be detected so the first microscope was invented by a dutch scientist antony van leeuwen hoek he was an ordinary public official who ground lenses and his microscopic observations as a hobby he is said to have constructed 400 microscopes basically all his microscopes consisted of single biconvex lens which were now we called it as a simple microscope later further an english scientist robert hook used two lenses for his microscope for achieving the greater magnification and were called as compound microscopes hook examined a thin slice of cork under his microscope and observed tiny box like compartments piled up together this reminded him of little room or cells of monks in a monastery and he declared that the cork is made up of a cell the cells inside a cork is empty so it is a dead cell the cell was first coined by robert hook in the year 1665 an ordinary microscope of today is greatly improved microscope of hooks compound microscope 
electron microscope added further information to the unknown facts of cells. In 1838, Matthias Schilden, a German botanist, announced that every part of a plant is made up of number of cells and all these cells perform various life processes. A year later, German zoologist Theodor Squan made similar discoveries in animals. He declared both in plants and animals they were composed of cells which serve as the unit of structure and function. This in short, it is a cell theory. The cell theory mainly states three points. The cell is the smallest unit of structure of all living things. A cell is a unit of function of all living things. All cells exist from the pre-existing cells. Larger an organism, greater the number of cells in its body. So based on the number, it is divided mainly into three types. Uniceled, fuseled and multicelled. Many plants and animals were made up of a single cell which we called it as unicelled or unicellular, like bacteria, yeast, amoeba. Few celled, a very few plants and animals were made up of few hundreds and thousands of cells, which we call it as few celled, like the spirogyra and wallbox. Multicelled or multicellular. Most of the plants and animals, including ourselves, were made up of millions and billions of cells. The smallest cell is bacteria or the red blood cells in our body. The longest cell is the nerve cell. Imagine a nerve cell from the fingertip up to the spinal cord inside your backbone. It is extending. The largest cell is bird's egg, that is ostrich. Ostrich egg is the largest single cell of the living world today. Cells vary many in shape. They are disc-like, polygonal, rectangular, cuboid, irregular, branched and thread-like. Their shapes were related to the different functions they perform. Comparably, the red blood cells, they are circular by concave in shape, which helps to pass through the narrow capillaries and transport oxygen. The white blood cells are amoeboid, irregular in shape. Amoeba-like movement with pseudopodia helps to squeeze through the capillary walls. The nerve cells 
long and elongated helps to conduct the impulses from the distant parts of the body to the brain and the vice versa the muscle cells are long and contractile helps in the body movement the guard cells are bean shaped which helps to close and open the stomatal pore in the leaf so each and every cell has its own shape structure and function so you can define a cell as it is a fundamental structural functional unit of all living things thank you hope you like this session please do subscribe to our channel